Hi there. Today we're going to look at this um, the pieces, the Noon Science by uh, Eric Satie, and this we are performing for our uh, music festival. Um, so what we are doing, we're doing number one and number two, both of them, and this piece is actually a slow dance of the Greek style, um, very much like the Gymnopedes, and this one is very slow. Now, uh, Eric Satie is a very strange man. He has He's, he loves um, grey suits and he has seven, uh, seven of them and then he loves umbrellas as well and he eats only white food so food that is white in colour like flour, like, like sugar, you know, white sugar and then he was, he was born in uh, 1866, died in 1925 so very eccentric and, and uh, interesting guy um, and then his pieces are very, you know, subtle in its effect um, and, and this one is very, again, very much like the Gymnopedi and again, we start the Eric Sati two pieces in our festival uh, to create a very um, sort of white and, and um, peaceful and plaintive kind of character before we build up in, into the huge climax of the concert. So this is a very sad piece again, and it's slow. Um, and then you just have to play them, not much in time. As you can see, the whole work has no time signature or no bar lines, you know. So you gotta just flow along with the slight variations of the rhythm. And there's one phrase, and the next phrase. So we have the kind of feeling of that, but then because it's quaver and then there are chakatura, so you're gonna make slight variation to it and slightly subtle changes and uh, uh, feeling of direction as well. So follow the main rhythm, follow the dynamic levels, the slurs as you're phrasing, follow the quavers as you change in the crotches and then they are chakatura, watch carefully your notes and you're in F minor and the left hand bass, you know, you have this tonic and dominant all the time. So your pedal should hold quite long and then follow according to the melodic line where you need to change one, two, three, and then bass line would be where you change pedal. So it's very mysterious, you know, very um, very French, you know, it's, it's quite of quite of a mysterious um, questioning kind of character here. And it's painful as well. Repeat again. 
French words there, um, it's like at your tongue, you know, it says there at the end there, Mrs. Linkers. So you have uh, the idea that then you have that's for your the last marking there, the Sula Lange, uh, and then the other one you have another different approach there, a little by a little, uh, pass a pass, and then the one before you have that postulus. So again, here we talk about. Uh, something that is personal to you and then we have the other um, taboo de la passe, which is actually a pente. you have the very different approach to this and again you know you got to look up for all these titles the meanings um, to it and then you give your your understanding of the work is stronger and that's how you play them them better. So each time you practice them, always search out the words first. Sometimes you may not have it. Sometimes you have it. Um, in this case, you know, it's more traditional. It's in this way. You know, it's, it's, it tells you what to do with a traditional way of playing it. You know, that's what it says there um, in in this uh, translation. So yeah, so you can do some translation. You know, and then you uh, find out a bit more. It says uh, with a thought. Traditionally, a thought. Um, that, that's how you play that part. Uh, then you have the other one is questioning, you know, questionnaire. Uh, and then translucent, right? Meaning it's very, what is it? Lucent? Bright, you know. Right? So you have all these different um, French words to help you to play this. 
in your own personal way um, shaping up the music and then uh, after that you have the other one which you have to learn which is number two same kind of idea and you have this as well number three um, so they're familiarized with all this kind of a uh, different idea uh, for these pieces here but of course uh, in the concert we'll be playing uh, numbers one and two uh, for the whole chunk of pianists together 20 of them and each one on one piano all right so we've distributed together and then we will practice it together as well 
So there you have it, the number one and number two by Eric Sati, and this is the, you know, see it's uh, number one and two.